thank you. Um, thank you to everyone, and thank, you, and thank you for this beautiful evening. So, there is no one that I would rather be giving a speech about than Ryan Gosling. He is so outrageously talented, it's hard to know exactly where to begin. Also, I am very glad that this is a speech because maybe the only thing that he is terrible at is getting compliments because he dances away from them and somehow does a shuffle ball change and a time step and suddenly I am the one who is receiving a compliment, which is deeply charming and also deeply frustrating because somehow I've never been able to fully communicate how incredible he is. But I'm going to try now, and he can't stop me. <laughs> um, I love, and everyone loves, referencing other actors when I talk about Ryan, because he is such a delicious and to totally unexpected combination of genius. He has the burning intensity of Marlon Brando. He has the exquisite comedic pain of John Barrymore, the tragic realism of Montgomery Clift, Clift and the virtuosic showmanship of John Travolta, and the sly wit of Gene Wilder. <laughs> but because the, this is the Kirk Douglas Award, I, of course, started to think about the brilliance of Kirk Douglas and what I believe his connection is to Ryan Gosling. In an incredible career, two of my favorite Kirk Douglas performances are in Billy Wilder's Ace in the Hole as uh, a lethally ambitious newspaper man and in Vincent Minnelli the bad and the beautiful as a charismatically toxic movie producer. They are fully committed portraits that never, not even for one second, provide Kirk Douglas, the actor, any safety inside them. He never sells out his characters. He never tries to make them tamer or less extreme. That same thing is true of Ryan Gosling. He doesn't create a distance between himself and his characters. He never winks at the audience to tell them that he, Ryan Gosling, is standing apart from what is ridiculous or embarrassing or mean or petty or heroic or base. He allows it all to exist within him and he never hedges. My theory about Kirk Douglas and my theory about Ryan is they both commit in such a way to characters in all their beauty and their ugliness because they are actors and people who believe that redemption is possible. This is hopeful and this is needed. If you don't believe in the possibility of redemption, you would never show people in all their complexity. It is a philosophical position articulated through acting. And in doing so, it provides a possibility for us all as audience members. I don't really play poker, so this could be wrong, what I'm about to say. But I know that there's a thing when one person puts in all their chips, and if you want to keep playing, you also have to put in all of your chips. And anyway, that's what it's like to work with Ryan Gosling. <laughs> All, all his chips are in at every moment, and if you want to keep playing, you better ante up. There's nothing he can't do. He can sing, he can dance, he can act, he can play guitar, he can play piano, he can plant trees, he can write gorgeous prose, compose music, light a scene, talk about obscure films, make everyone laugh, be kind to people's parents, and on top of it all, he has beautiful handwriting. <laughs> I've never met someone that understood what I'm trying to do so quickly. After sending him the script, 
he and I got on the phone, and from the moment we started talking, he just understood. Noah Baumbach and I had written the part of Ken for Ryan, and there would be no Barbie if he hadn't come to be our Ken. And somehow, he knew exactly what the role required instantly. Once he was in, it was a commitment beyond anything I could have dreamed. Ryan and I spent hours and hours talking and texting and agonizing about Ken and Barbie and what they mean and what drives them and what we were doing. And at first, I felt the need to apologize to him to say, I'm sorry, we're having a deep philosophical conversation about Ken. <laughs> but as time went on, I realized I, I didn't need to caveat anything. He thought it was important. He knew it was important. I think as girls, we always take our games and our toys to be less important because the world historically has treated them as less important. Boys games and toys have always had corresponding adult versions that are important. Army men, trucks, building materials, the games boys play are affirmed as having value in the adult world, while princesses and Barbies and tea parties and playing moms or playing house are seen as not important. Now, I don't, I don't know if this is because he has daughters or because of his amazing wife or because he was raised by a wonderful mom, but Ryan never for one moment doubted the value of the interior lives of girls. By bringing his immense talent, his passion, his dedication, his total commitment to Ken and to Barbie, he's saying, this matters. The dream life and the playtime and the inner world of girls matter. They are not less than, they deserve the best and the biggest of what I have to offer. He's co-signing this importance by his commitment and by his presence and by his art. I don't know that I've ever quite been as happy as when I've been watching him act. I think people talk about being seen. And that was my experience. I've never felt more seen than by his performance. The sequence where he's in the battle, and in the midst of the battle, he breaks out into song, and then he beaches off, and then he goes into a dream ballet. Well, that's just my whole soul on display in the guise of a male actor portraying a doll. I don't know how that's possible, but it's true. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is this. As bananas as it sounds, I feel more than a little bit saved by Ryan's acting, by working with him and by watching him work. I have felt the same way sitting in an audience watching his other performances in films that I had nothing to do with and I felt it a hundredfold watching him as he invents and inhabits a character in front of me. I could not think of a more perfect person to present to Ryan. Kirk Douglas to Ryan Gosling, genius to genius. Thank you to the Santa Barbara International Film Festival for recognizing him.